What's up, TME fam? Welcome back to TME Nation. It's your girl, Tawana. And your boy, Vaughn. And we are back on the scene, back on the set with another video for y'all. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. So, we're going to sit here and eat this boiled seafood, but that ain't what the video is about. What's the video about? We are going to be talking about and showing y'all clips of the best gumbo in my hometown, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It was so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the name of that place? Paran. Hmm. So, <laughs> so we about to get into it, y'all. You got spicy? Oh. So let me move this a little bit. I don't know why it seems lopsided. It is. Y'all like my reindeer ears? Look, you you couldn't even hardly see them. They're so long. I put them on because I wanted to wear them. Mm. And I was like, they're not going to even be in the frame. Aww. And they're so cute. But that's want, okay. Cause, huh? The chair won't go down some more? It's just as far as it will go. Hmm. But that's okay. Cause I like them. And I, I know I'm wearing them. And y'all can see them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got them from Walmart. And I was like, oh, they're so cute. And I'm so excited to be eating some crabs. I feel like I haven't had crabs in forever. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's literally been weeks, y'all. Maybe a month. Maybe longer than a month. Same and way. for me, that's a long time. Since you had crabs? Yeah, how long has it been? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been a month. I feel like it. Hmm. It's been a little minute. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, y'all. It's good. That's damn good. I just got the garlic butter. It's crab because I didn't want all the goopy seasoning. I got the goopy seasoning, y'all. <laughs> the house seasoning. Look at that egg. The house seasoning. Good. Why you give me an egg? You didn't say you wanted no egg. But I ain't think about it. If you'd have asked me, I'd have said, yeah, I want an egg. You know what? That's a shame. I got you. How about that? You ain't get me. You were supposed to eat two eggs. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to eat one. Ain't that right, y'all? My nigga. <laughs> he didn't ask me for an egg, y'all. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, not a crab. I just think about crab. Mm -hmm. I don't be thinking about any extra. And then she see what I get. <laughs> How come you didn't get me an egg? Oh, I got a cut on my finger. How come you didn't get me a turkey neck? You got turkey neck? Where's all that problem? No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't have wanted no turkey neck, but egg, y'all. I don't always want the egg. But sometimes I do. How many of y'all like green lip mussels? I don't eat mussels at all. Hmm. I only like the green lip ones, y'all. Why? Because they taste good to me. The black ones don't taste... You would think they taste the same, but they don't. They yeah. don't. Hmm. That's crazy. You would think they taste the same. And I mean, it's not like the difference between gulf shrimp and farm-raised shrimp. It's... A totally different taste? Yeah. Wow, it's weird. So much so that I'm not eating no black muscles. Dang. Yeah, you would think they taste the same, like, or similar. Yeah, like the shrimp, different types of shrimp, like snow crab versus king crab versus blue crab versus onion crab. Hmm. They all taste a little different, but they all good. They all taste like crab. So that's a little weird, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, I do have a piece of corn, which I got from Caden. Because I didn't have that either. I didn't have nothing, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Good. So let's get into this gumbo spot, y'all. Yes. How you say it? I say parrain. Is that not right? The same thing. I say parrain. It parrain. 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 Mm. Well, y'all, that place is rated 
the top gumbo in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah. So we had to check it out while we were there for Thanksgiving. And get us some gumbo. Now, you have been there before, right? I have been to Parrax a few times. It wasn't there when I lived there. But occasionally when I would go visit my family, we would go there. But that was my first time having their gumbo. I never had their gumbo. Normally, and you saw how like none of my family had tried their gumbo. Mm. Normally. They hadn't? No, you didn't hear them say that? They, they all say never had. And I'll tell you why. Normally, in Louisiana restaurants, even though the gumbo is probably good, we don't order gumbo. Gumbo is something that's homemade that you eat at home. So, they had never tried it either. They were like, it's good. So, we told them how good it was. It was so freaking delicious. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, first impressions. We were following the um, GPS to get there. And we pull up in the parking lot. First of all, there are like three different buildings. I think two of them were restaurants. Mm-hmm. But... One of them had a sign, and this place didn't have no sign. Mm-mm. Ain't nothing outside for you to know that you're there. And okay. I couldn't remember. So we drove driving around in the parking lot. Okay, it ain't that place. That's that's got a sign, and it say something else. <laughs> so we like it must be right there, right? So yeah, we walk up. Ain't no signs on the building either. <laughs> You you know you don't usually walk up and there's a sign on in the window or you know somewhere letting you know this is the name of this place. Nothing. Now, I think they did have one of them little chalkboards outside and somewhere on there it said Parmes, right? It was inside once you went through the first door. Mm. So you went through a door and then you went up a couple of steps and then you went all the way inside. So there was nothing actually like outside that said it. Hmm. Which is crazy, y'all. Like, I mean, do they think only the locals go there? Which is probably the case. I don't know. But because it's like literally one of the best seafood restaurants in Baton Rouge, lots of people probably go there when they come. Because mm-hmm. we saw this other couple, they couldn't find it either, remember? Mm-hmm. They were like looking lost like we were. <laughs> but we got up in there, y'all. Mm-hmm. I yeah. had a bowl of gumbo. Oh, we ordered appetizers. So I had, we ordered our fried <coughs> green tomatoes and what was it, crab fingers? Yes, so good. Mm. Mm, good, y'all. Mm-hmm. And that gumbo. That gumbo, y'all. It was everything. I told her right then and there, this <laughs> is the third best gumbo I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Not in your life. In my life. Ooh. Now, obviously, I didn't had a lot less gumbo in my life than she has. But. But it was up there. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Especially, especially for a restaurant. Like I said, mm-hmm. normally, even in Louisiana, like, your best gumbo is always going to be homemade. Mm-hmm. It's still a hit or miss anytime you order gumbo in a restaurant. But at that restaurant... But yeah, the first is, is of course Queen T's. Mm-hmm. Second is my mother in law's. <laughs> and the third is was Parvain. I will be making my annual gumbo. Annual traditional Christmas Eve gumbo. I only make gumbo once a year, y'all. Only Christmas Eve. Because when you make it right. Mm. It's a lot of freaking work and a lot of time. No. So they eat it once a year. Mm, mm, mm. Other than that, we got to go to a restaurant. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I'm sorry, y'all. These restaurants here in Houston? Mm-mm. Half the time, they don't even taste like gumbo. Exactly. And it's so weird because sometimes... It's good and have a good flavor, but I mean, like, it ain't gumbo.
<laughs> I'm a bit of a gumbo snob. I mm-hmm. do recognize that, but at the same time. Speaking of being a gumbo snob. What? I don't know if you remember saying this. You said something in the restaurant. What? And I want you to say it again, because I don't think... There was music in the restaurant, y'all, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to play the audio from there. I don't remember what I you said. You said something about uh, Papa Doe. They're a gumbo. I don't know what I said, but I know Papa Doe gumbo ain't gumbo. <laughs> what is it? No, it is soup. It has a good flavor. It's it's a good soup, but it ain't gumbo. So what makes it not gumbo? It doesn't have gumbo flavor. Gumbo has a tr- a distinct flavor made by a particular way of making a roux and adding the trinity, most mm-hmm. important, and not putting just whatever you want to put in it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Y'all, I saw a gumbo recipe on YouTube the other day. It had oxtails in it. Now I know some of y'all like, you can put whatever you want in gumbo. I hear you. I hear you. You sure can. It's your gumbo. You put whatever you want in it. But I'm here to tell you, it is not an authentic, let me say authentic gumbo. Mm. That ain't gumbo, huh? That ain't gumbo. Y'all reach on in there and get whatever you want. <laughs> I ain't passing you nothing else. Mm. Mm. Good job. But yeah, y'all. And we want to let the family know we were nominated for the Meet and I Awards 2022. We in category 13, best cha- best challenge channel. Mm-hmm. So y'all make sure y'all click the link below to vote. Mm-hmm. We would appreciate y'all's support. I feel like we got to get back on some challenges. Mm-hmm. We ain't done it in a while. Ain't been done in a while though. Mm-mm. It might be something we gotta look for. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It hasn't been a lot. I remember. There were times when it was so many challenges we couldn't keep up. We couldn't, y'all. We it was two, a lot. Two weeks behind. Mm-hmm. We started every video saying, we know we late, uh-huh. but we own it. Man, people doing challenges all the time. And that doesn't seem really to be a thing much anymore. Well, people into their vlogmas this year, this, um, this month, on. and lots of stuff. Mm-hmm. The challenges are fun now. I just can't do all of them. But you know, time challenges, you gotta eat stuff real fast. Hmm. You gotta do that. Like the queen said, um, we gonna get some gumbo, or she gonna make some gumbo rather, for Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. We gonna mukbang that, and we got something special to go with it. We do? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We got something special to go with it. One of our Best of Houston series. Oh. Mm-hmm. Can y'all guess what it's going to be? The best what in Houston? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us. Hopefully, y'all got as many bites as you wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all do that crazy YouTube stuff, and we will catch y'all in the next one. TMV Nation out. Bye.